A statement directed to the managers of quarantine facilities in the five affected centers is to ensure an immediate extension of 14 more days for those under the government's mandatory quarantine. Those in Kenyatta University, KMTC hostels of Nairobi Kano and Nairobi MG, Kenya Water Institute and Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology will now spend an additional two weeks in quarantine to determine whether they will be discharged. Health Ministry Director General Dr. Patrick Amoth says the ministry established that the individuals held at the five facilities did not maintain optimal social distance and instead had close contact and interactions. He says, and I quote, after thorough evaluation of circumstances, these factors facilitate transmission and cross-infection and therefore it is impossible to determine whether all those quarantined in the facilities are actually safe to be released into the general public. On Wednesday this week, 21 people in mandatory quarantine at the Kenyatta University Center held protests over their continued stay at the facility despite posting negative COVID-19 results. The group, including the over 250 others at KMTC, claimed they were being held in quarantine after the expiry of their mandatory 14 days of isolation, yet they are unable to pay the bills for their stay. This is the third time government has extended quarantine. There's one thing that remains constant at the poor Kenyans individual cost. Where are these Kenyans going to get the money from? The assumption that maybe Kenyans arriving can be able to afford for this program is actually misplaced. Most of the persons arriving, some of them are students, some of them are persons who lost their jobs and who felt coming back home could be a more safe, safe and convenient place to be during this pandemic. Several police officers were deployed and forced them back into the facility. Those quarantined have been directed to observe all the directives in social distance, hygiene measures and to limit interactions during the period after which a repeat testing for COVID-19 shall be undertaken. With the number of the COVID-19 cases in the country rising each day, the government seems to extend its operations in ensuring that the past regulations have been adhered to effectively. Makori Citizen TV, Nairobi.